And obviously, you know, you had a lot of drug issues then and a lot of you know, problems with that kind of stuff. Is that a big issue or was a big issue in the wrestling business with not just you, but a lot of guys then? Well, yeah, and it's it's interesting because when I was there, when I first started, they were drug testing, very strict drug testing policy. Um, but there was a loophole. You could not take steroids. You could not take illegal drugs like smoking pot or doing cocaine or any of that stuff. But the loophole was you could take any prescription drugs you wanted as long as you wrote it down on the drug test sheet when you were taking a drug test. They would ask you, what medications are you taking? As long as you wrote it down, you didn't have to show them a prescription. And, of course, I lived in Miami, brother, so I knew all kinds of people selling pills on the street. Sure. So I had – and a lot of times when we were down in Texas, we'd go across the damn border to Mexico and get tons of drugs. And the thing is, you just write it on the sheet, and they wouldn't check to see if you had a prescription for it. Everybody was taking Somas, and, like, nobody had prescriptions for Somas. Um, so – Yes, it became a bad. It became an issue for me. Uh, you know, a lot of guys were married and had kids, and when they would go home from the road, they would become a dad or a husband. I didn't have any of that. I went home and partied more with my buddies, and went back on the road and still partied. And uh, it was a, that. That's what became such a big problem for me. Um, Interestingly, about a year after I left, I was still talking to some of the guys. Savio, called. we were talking. I was talking to Savio on the phone, Savio Vega, and he goes, "There's no more drug tests." I was like, "What?" He goes, "There's no more drug tests." They sent out a memo saying that it costs too much to drug test people. It's not cost effective, or something was the word they, they used. And I just remember telling Savio, I said, "This is going to be bad." <laughs> Because yeah. I knew I knew how some of those guys were partying, and if you take all if you drop the reins and you let them, if you cut them loose to start doing illegal drugs, I said it's not going to be good, and that's when all these guys start dying, it's because guys were really going crazy off these and illegal drugs and dying in hotel rooms and all that stuff. So in a lot of ways, when I talk to people about the way I unceremoniously left the wrestling business. I have to look back and realize, man, maybe it was for, maybe it was good that I wasn't there when they quit drug testing, because I was one of the craziest ones out there, you know. So I can't imagine what could, what would have happened. So maybe it was for the better 